first trick of electronic configuration. In this lecture, I will teach you my personal trick of electronic configuration. Although, there are several tricks available, but they are time consuming. I will teach you my personal and first trick of electronic configuration, which will help you a lot. Firstly, let me teach you that what is electronic configuration. Well, remember that the word configuration means arrangement. Now consider these 30 students in a classroom. We arrange them all in rows and columns in a classroom. This arrangement of students in rows and columns is known as configuration of students in a classroom. Similarly, consider an atom. We know that there are shells and subshells present in an atom. Electrons revolve in these shells or subshells around the nucleus. Here, we arrange electrons in these shells and subshells. For example, K shell can accommodate only two electrons, L shell can accommodate eight electrons, etc. Now listen carefully. This arrangement of electrons in shells and subshells is known as electronic configuration. Let me repeat it. This arrangement of electrons in shells and subshells is known as electronic configuration. Thus remember that electronic configuration is the arrangement of electrons. Now let me teach you electrons in subshells. Well, we all know that there are four subshells SPDF present inside any atom. Here, S can accommodate two electrons. I add four to eight successively. P can accommodate six electron. I add 4 to 8, D can accommodate 10 electrons, I add 4 to 8, F can accommodate 14 electrons. Thus remember these 4 subshells and the number of electrons they can accommodate. Now let me teach you the super fast trick of electronic configuration. Well, consider these 3 senior police officers. This is SSP, this is SP, and this is DSP. I write SSP, SP, and then in case of DSP, I write D here, I write S before D, and I write P after it. Secondly, I write 1, then 22, then 33, and then 43. I bring these numbers up. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3. This P has no number, I erase it or I delete it. We know that S can accommodate two electrons. I write two electrons, two electrons, two electrons and two electrons. P can accommodate six electrons. I write six electrons, six electrons and D can accommodate ten electrons. I write ten electrons. This is the complete code of writing electronic configuration. Now let me show you that how fast I use this trick to write electronic configuration. Let again consider these three senior police officer. One is SSP, the second one is SP, and the third one is D, then S, and lastly P. Also, I write 1, 22, 33, 43. This P has no number, I cancel it. Two electrons, two electrons, two electrons, two electrons. Six electrons, six electrons, and ten electrons. So everything is boomed. Therefore, using this trick, we can super fastly do electronic configuration. So I will use this trick to do electronic configuration of first 30 elements. Remember this important point, if electrons are less than or equal to 10 electrons, I will write SSP type. For example, consider oxygen, fluorine and neon. I call these elements as SSP type elements. I mean, I write SSP, SSP, SSP in front of them. Also we know that it is 1s, 2s and 2p. There are 8 electrons present in oxygen. I place 2 electrons in 1s, 2 electrons in 2s, 
एंड फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू पी टू प्लस टू प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दस आई हैव कन्फिगर्ड द एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सेकेंडली देर आर नाइन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एंड फ्लोरिन एटम आई पुट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड वन एस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू एस टू प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू फोर आई पुट द रिमेनिंग फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू पी थर्डली देर आर टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एन नियन एटम आई पुट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड वन एस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू एस एंड सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू पी टू प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दस आई हैव सक्सेसफुली कन्फिगर्ड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट सेकेंडली एफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर बिटवीन टेन एंड एटीन आई राइट एस एस पी एस पी टाइप फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस एलिमेंट्स विद दियर रिस्पेक्टिव एटोमिक नंबर्स इन केस ऑफ सूडियम देर आर इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट आई राइट वन एस टू एस टू पी थ्री एस थ्री पी आई पुट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड वन एस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू एस सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड टू पी वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड थ्री एस नो टू प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज प्रेजेंट एन थ्री पी आई कैंसल एड सेकेंडली देर आर ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एन मैग्नीशियम एटम आई कॉपी दिस सेम कन्फिग्रेशन वन एस टू एस टू पी थ्री एस थ्री पी आई पुट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन वन एस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन टू एस सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन टू पी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन थ्री एस नो टू प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज प्रेजेंट एन थ्री पी आई कैंसल एड थर्डली देर आर सेवनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एन क्लोरिन एटम आई कॉपी दिस सेम कन्फिग्रेशन आई राइट वन एस टू एस टू पी थ्री एस थ्री पी आई पुट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन वन एस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन टू एस सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन टू पी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन थ्री एस एंड फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन थ्री पी नो टू प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस टू प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फिफ्थली देर आर एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एन आर गॉन आई कॉपी दिस सेम कन्फिग्रेशन एंड राइट इट हेयर I put two electrons in one s, two electrons in two s, six electrons in two p, two electrons in three s, six electrons in three p. Now two plus two plus six plus two plus six is equal to eighteen electrons. Thus, I have successfully configured the electrons of these elements. Here is one important point which you must remember at any cost. There are eighteen electrons present and are gone. Let me repeat it. There are eighteen electrons present and are gone. Now consider the last type elements like SSP, SP, DSP. For example, consider potassium. There are nineteen electrons present and eight. I write the complete configuration using the trick. SSP, SP. I write here D. I put S before D. And P after it. I write one twenty two thirty three forty three. This P has no number. I cancel it. I put two electrons in one s, two electrons in two s, six electrons in two p, two electrons in three s, six electrons in three p, and one electron in four s. Now two plus two plus six plus two plus six plus one is equal to nineteen electrons. There is no electron present in 3D. I cancel it. Now listen carefully. Till 3P, we can accommodate 18 electrons, which is present and are gone. Let me repeat it. Till 3P, we can accommodate 18 electrons, which is present and are gone. I can also write the electronic configuration of potassium as are gone 18 electrons. The remaining orbitals is 4s and 3d. I have configured 18 electrons. I put one electron in 4s. No electron is present in 3d. I cancel it. So this is the electronic configuration of potassium. I will use this code to configure electrons greater than 18. For example, consider d block elements. In case of scandium, there are 21 electrons. I write argon 4s 3d. 
we know that argon can accommodate 18 electrons, forest can accommodate 2 electrons and the last one electron is present in 3D. In case of titanium, there are 22 electrons. I copy this code and write it here. Argon can accommodate 18 electrons, forest can accommodate 2 electrons, the remaining 2 electrons are present in 3D. In case of vanadium, there are 23 electrons. 18 electrons are present in argon, 2 electrons are present in 4S, and 3 electrons are present in 3D. In case of chromium, there are 24 electrons. I put star on chromium because it is exceptional case. Argon can accommodate 18 electrons, 4S can accommodate 2 electrons, and 3D can accommodate 4 electrons. But wait a minute. We know that S can accommodate 2 electrons and D can accommodate total 10 electrons. There are 4 electrons present in 3D. According to the rule, I single fillet, this fifth orbital is empty. Now listen carefully. One electron from 4S will transfer to this fifth orbital of 3D. Let me repeat it. One electron from 4s will transfer to this fifth orbital of 3d. If you ask me why this electron is shifting from 4s to fifth orbital, the answer is simple. Remember that half-filled d orbital are completely filled d orbital are stable. So one electron from 4s shift to 3d and this d orbital become more stable. So this is the electronic configuration of chromium. In case of manganese, 18 electrons are present in argon, 2 electrons in 4s and 5 electrons in 3d. Similarly, we can configure 26 electrons of iron, 27 electrons of cobalt, 28 electrons of nickel and 30 electrons of zinc. The electronic configuration is also a different case. There are 18 electrons present in argon, 2 electrons in 4s and 9 electrons in 3d. I shift 1 electron from 4s to 3d. It becomes 10 electron. Now orbitals of 3d is completely filled. So it is more stable. Thus this is the electronic configuration of copper. Therefore, using this trick, we can easily write the electronic configuration of any element. I hope that you have learned this important trick.